welcome to a new year. As you can see behind me, the Christmas tree is still up, but it's only got a few days left before it comes down. Because here we are on the first Wednesday of the first week of the first month of 2020. New decade. Another first. But I'm recording this in the hope that this will be a first video of a series. I'm hoping over the next few months that every Wednesday I'm going to post something connected with wildlife, the environment, photography, and maybe a few other subjects thrown in but just for good measure. Let's see what happens. But for today I just want to celebrate first and say welcome. I hope you enjoy whatever I may post over the next couple of months. I've been told I should have done this ages ago, but oh well, that's typical of me. But I'm going to start probably speaking about rivers. Well, one river in particular, the Dodder, which is my local river, and a particular part of it. On Dodder Road in Rathfarnham because that's where I grew up and that's the area that I know best. It's the part of the river that I played along as a child regularly falling into the river coming home and getting in trouble for being soaking wet. <laughs> anyway God help me poor mother. But over the next while I'm particularly going to talk about that section of the river and the wildlife that frequents it. No particular emphasis on anything except maybe, just maybe, I might talk about kingfishers more than anything else because nowadays lots of photographers go down there knowing, well, as far as you can know with wildlife, which is always so predictable, or rather unpredictable, and it's predictable in the sense that it's unpredictable. You just can't tell what might happen. But it seems that over the last few years, at this particular stretch of the river, kingfishers appear on a regular basis. I can remember a time when I had this section of the river all to myself for years and never see another photographer. Nowadays, I go down and I'm surprised if there aren't at least five or six trying to catch a glimpse of this beautiful bird, my favorite bird. And most people, all they ever see is a flash of electric blue as it glides along the top of the water, just above the water. And it's gone before they know it. I can remember being like that. There's a funny thing about that particular section of the river. I used to always say to people, if you're going to photograph kingfishers, you need a hide. You need to know where they're nesting and set up your hide close by. Because they're such a secret of bird. Well, over the last two, two and a half years, I thrown that advice out the window because again along this stretch of Lower Daughter Road in North Farnham, kingfishers just appear on a regular basis. So that's where I'm going to start. I'll talk about kingfishers, I'll talk about Daughter Road, I'll talk about growing up along Daughter Road and you know something when I was a kid, floods were a regular occurrence. It seemed that the whole area was flooded every single year. We were lucky because we lived on the side of the road that was furthest away from the river, so the water didn't encroach on us too much, little bits, but we never got completely flooded out, whereas the houses on the bank directly on the river 
were very autumn. The gardens certainly, because the houses themselves were at a little bit of a height. They, the gardens definitely, definitely were flooded. And there were some cottages which were lower down, which again were regularly flooded. So yeah, I'll talk about floods as well. For now, I just want to say welcome. And if it turns into a series, I hope you'll enjoy it. For now, take care, happy new year. And uh, the next time I do a video, the tree won't be there, don't we? Bye.